if you are a woman who knows that you have no desire, you have no absolute thought of becoming a wife or becoming a mother, mother, first off, I commend you. I commend you. Hear me out before anybody gets upset and starts to want to fight me in the comments. I commend you. And here's why. If you are a person who knows that you do not have the skill set, you do not have the patience, you do not have the conflict resolution, you do not have the communication skills, you do not have what it would take to be a mother. You do not have the selflessness that it would take to be a mother, to be a wife, to be a caregiver. I commend you for knowing that from the start. I commend you for being honest about yourself. I commend you for not falling into the societal pressures of becoming a mother and a wife and a business owner and a homeowner and a community, you know, example. I hear you. If you are a woman, men, I'm, I can't talk to the men because I'm not a man. I can only talk to the women. If you are a woman who knows that none of those things tickle your fancy, none of them sound desirable for you, none of those tasks, none of those characteristics sound anything like something that you want to have inside of you. You do not want to possess those things. I commend you for knowing who you are because the worst thing ever is for a woman to have a child and then neglect that baby because you really didn't want that baby. Nothing is worse than a woman who gets married because she felt like she had to get married. And now that you're married, you hate your husband, you hate your life and everybody around you is miserable. If you are a woman who knows that all I want to do is focus on my career, shop, travel, buy a dog if I want, and I want to live my life according to how I want to live it, and I don't want to have to consider anybody else, I respect and I commend you for deciding to stay single and childless. Let me get that out of the way first and foremost. Because if you know you do not want to do the work, you do not want to make the sacrifices, you do not want to do any of the tasks the work, the effort that it would require to be a good mother, good wife, whatever it is, I want you to stay single and stay by yourself. I repeat, if you are a woman who knows that being a mother and being a wife is not something that you desire, it is not in your heart at all, please continue to stay single and childless so that you can have the life that you live that you want to live. Understood? Understood. However, for all the women who have decided that they do not want to do any improvement on themselves, for all the women who have decided that they want to stay single, because ain't no man going to tell me what to do ever. For all the women who have decided, I got kids, but my kids are going to do exactly what I tell them to do when I tell them to do it. They're going to live their life how I want them to live it because I don't have to change. I'm perfect. For all the women out there that have decided that the world revolves around you and you are the bee's knees, baby, you are perfect. You have no room for improvement. So men need to take you as you are and your children need to do exactly what you want them to do and create a life around what your desires are. I need you to stop it. For the women out there that have fallen victim to the lies of the sisterhood, and if you don't know what the sisterhood is, you know, the girls, girls, women can do no wrong. Women are always the victim. Women are the ones who hold everything together, and we're the ones that are the most um, mistreated. Tell them, Ash, I am. For the women who have fallen into this trap of all being, choose the bear. And so now you are living a life that you are miserable in because you are lonely, because you want love, you want companionship, you want partnership, you want somebody to come in and be responsible for you. But you have believed all of these lies. Some are lies, not all, that women tell to make themselves feel better at night because really they are a horrible person on the inside and in the outside and they want other people to be miserable with them. If you have fallen victim to them lies, I'm here to help you come on out of there. I'm here to make help other people realize that misery loves company. You are not perfect. You are not the only one who is worth the work and the effort. Tell them, Ash, I am. There are so many women out here. 
that have made it up in their mind that because of what their homegirls have been through, their grandmamas, their mamas have been through, because of all of these stories that we see getting spotlighted in the social media world, I don't want a man. See, this is the reason why I don't want a man. I want y'all to stop and use your critical thinking skills and realize that people be lying. Tell them, Ash, I am. Those women out there that are painting all of men like they are bad men, have you ever stopped to think, how does this one woman have so many negative stories about men? Maybe, just maybe, I don't know, Maybe it is something that they are doing. No, I am not victim blaming because there are some real victims out there. There are some women out there that have had horrible experiences with men and it's not fair and it's not okay. But there are some women out there that continuously pick the same type of men. There are some women out there that refuse to do any work in their personalities. They refuse to fix their mouth. They refuse to fix their attitude. They refuse to leave the space for a man. They refuse to listen to a man, be corrected by a man. There are some women out here that have got it made up in their mind that they are the man. So I don't need no man. And I can do what I want to do when I want to do it, how I want to do it. Now, listen, some of them need to be left alone. They don't need to be listened to. If you cannot look at their life and see an example of a healthy and happy relationship ever, they are the problem. And I said what I said. Tell them, Ash, I am. If you have a woman in your life right now that is constantly giving you advice, but they don't have one healthy friendship, one healthy family relationship. They don't have one healthy romantic relationship. They can't get along with the people at their jobs. Every time you turn around, they're falling out with these girlfriends. They are the problem. I said what I said. Tell them, Ash, I am. You cannot make me believe that nobody wants to have a relationship with you, but you're perfect. You are never the problem and you have been in different environments. You've been around different people. You've worked at different jobs. You've been in different relationships. Your mama, sister, brother, cousin, you beef with everybody. And those are the women that y'all want to take advice from. Tell them, Ash, I am. Those are the women that have decided that they are perfect. They have no room for growth. They have no room for improvement. They have no room or space to change because everything that they think is perfect. Everything that I'm doing is right. And those are the women that are sitting on this good internet, arguing back and forth about why women don't need men, don't want men. I'll do it all by myself. I even watched a live today where a woman said, well, women are creating friendships to where the friendships are going to be what sustains them in elderly years, like the golden girls. And I do believe that that is happening in some cases, but y'all can't even make it to Miami and back by still being friends. But you want me to believe that y'all are going to be able to take care of each other in your 70s and 80s? Tell them, Ash, I am. It ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen. You mean to tell me when you get to an age where you are struggling to make ends meet because you only got so much of a SSI check because you really didn't put any money to the side because you was too busy running the streets. You was too busy getting your body done. You was too busy shopping and living a life. You was too busy pretending to have what you did not have. Then now that you are in your 60s and 70s and 80s, now you don't have enough money to make it. And you mean to tell me that you and three or four other women who are also struggling blood pressure sky high because you're worried you are living in a house where everybody is taking some kind of medicine medication all you did was eat crab boils full of mercury and drink cosmigos for 20 30 years and drink, smoke hookah everybody in the house is dealing with some kind of depression alzheimer's or some type of mental health issue because you never took care of yourself and you want me to believe that all your life you were not able to get along with women, but now in your 60s and 70s, when you are the most honorary and hateful that you and another collective of women are going to be able to live together in a house and y'all can't even make it to Miami and back. Tell them, Ash, I am. It ain't going to happen. Let's just be realistic and let's call it what it is. There are a lot of women out here that live in a constant state of delusion. There are a lot of women out here that believe in fantasy they have been sold the Disney princess dream. And when they cannot get that, then they don't want no man. 
They don't want to deal with them at all. If you're not going to give me exactly what I want, I don't want anything from you. Tell them, Ash, I am. Those are women that are going to be by themselves. Because they have that same selfish mindset, not only in romantic relationships, but also with their friend groups, also with their family. I said what I said. What we are describing is a personality type. It is not just a type of woman. For all the women out there that feel like they don't need a man, they don't want a man, they never want to be married, they never want to have children, I commend you for knowing who you are. And I say you go and prepare for you to be by yourself for the rest of your life because you have a selfish personality. And that is totally okay. But make sure you can take care of yourself. But for the women that have been brainwashed by the other women in their life, I want you to stop and look at those women and ask if what she is saying is correct. Why is her life not better than what it is? Tell them, Ash, I am because she is lying to you because that woman is operating out of a place of fear. She is afraid to be hurt again. Potentially. I'm not saying she's never been hurt. I'm not saying that she has never been in a bad relationship or had a friend do her wrong or a family member do her wrong, but she is a woman that refuses to do the work within herself. She refuses to address the hurt. She refuses to let it go. And she is in a constant state of resentment and misery. And she wants you to be miserable too. She is afraid of being able to do anything different than what she's been doing. And she's going to stay stuck right there. And she wants you stuck too. Why? Let's say it together, class, because misery loves company. Then you also have the women that have decided and they have made incredible strides in their life. They are educated. I'm proud of you. They are business owners, homeowners. I am proud of you. They are getting to the money. I am proud of you. And they believe that that makes them better than any man out there that is not making their level of money or more. Tell them, Ash, I am. Men offer so much more in our life than just provision. Men can bring a sense of stability, a sense of security, a sense of balance. I don't know about y'all, but there are a lot of things that men are built to do that I am not interested in doing. And even though out of necessity, out of necessity, even though out of necessity, I get up every day and I go and get this money. I get up every day and I make sure that my business is operating. Even though I get up every day and I handle my business in my home that I own and I take care of my boys out of necessity, I understand that life would be 10 times easier if it was a man in here taking some of this off of my plate. Tell him, Ash, I am and I want him and I'm going to leave space for him. And I am going to welcome him into my life. And when that man finds me, let me describe that man, a praying man, a God fearing man, a man of integrity and character, a man of value and high value men is not just described because you make a certain level of money. There are some low value, low vibrational men out here that make plenty of money and I don't want them either. I need a man who is compassionate. I need a man who is considerate. I need a man who knows how to communicate. I need a man who knows how to handle conflict resolution. I need a man who is not going to run to self-medication when things are not going well. You're going to tell me how you feel so I can help you work it out. If you are my man and I'm your woman, that's what I'm supposed to be. I need a man who wants to be a leader in his community. I need a man who is forward thinking. I need a man with vision. Understand, I need a man who values what I contribute as a woman because he knows who he is as a man. Am I preaching? Yes, I am. So at the end of the day, tell him, Ash, I am. I need a man. I need a man for so much more than just the financial provision that that man will come with. I need a man that allows me to feel safe. I need a man who does not take advantage of my vulnerability. Matter of fact, he wants it. I need a man that is so secure in his own masculinity that the way my femininity just explodes around him, the softness that I'm able to exude because this man is nothing but man, honey. The fact that this man is a a pillar or a leader in his community, the fact that this man understands that what he's doing is not for him, He is doing everything that he is doing for his last name for generations to come. They are out there. I believe it. 
I have encountered some that are very close and I am determined to leave the space for that type of man because I know that type of man is waiting on me. Tell him, Ash, I did. 